Watford then conceding the first corner of the game, which Martin Granger will take here for Birmingham. Looked out by Andlove. This is McCarthy. And the header forward is by Hughes. Andlove looking to get on the end of it, and he got attached to it! And it's come back off the post, and it's been turned in! wonder if this is Palmer who puts it through his own net. This is unbelievable. Adibola always misses it. Palmer comes in, whacks it off Adibola. What a start from Birmingham. This is good acrobatics from Unlove. Comes back off the post. Adibola looks agonisingly as Palmer whacks it off the big Nigerian. And Birmingham back on level terms in aggregate. 1 0 to lead Watford. Palmer could be an OG. And Trevor Francis looking for a bright start. That's the one, now he's got it. Trevor Francis up and down the wing, doing a Barry Fry. Hughes with the corner. Rowett leaps! Great chance, Rob, great chance, seven yards out. That is a golden opportunity, and he knows it. Beautiful ball from Hughes, Rowett leaps between two players. Should hit the target, maybe a little bit unlucky. Goes for power. Just doesn't get it down, but Chamberlain, I think, is beaten here. Lovely leap, just can't keep it down. Adebola helping it into the path of Furlong, who seemed to be checked on his run through. I'll tell you what, Johnson's all right now, you can tell by that. That was sharp defending from Johnson. Adebola with a strike, and it was a wicked effort. Well, wow, this time he gets it on his left foot. And this is not too far away, is it? Johnson with the clearance. The touch from Hughes is, well, he just gets another little nick on it. And Adi Bola, first time, goes to the far post. Not too far away at all. Good hustling from Brian Hughes. Page ducks and just over the crossbar. Adi Bola, fierce left foot he's got. He's looking for a dip. And just when it dips, too late. Well, the goal that he has scored was a, a messy scrambled effort. He was looking for a greater quality finish there. Well, I'll tell you what, Holdsworth could be in trouble here. Could be in trouble. The linesman's got his flag up. And this could be big trouble for David Holsworth. This could be a red. And this oh. is going to be chaos for Birmingham. The linesman spotted it. David Holsworth shaking his head. I think it could be bye-bye. Well, what a horrendous moment this is going to be for David Holsworth because the referee is reaching for his pocket. He was booked in the first half after a skirmish with Gunga and his latest clash with the same player is going to lead to a second yellow, a consequent red, and if Birmingham are to get to the playoff final, then David Holdsworth will not be appearing in it. Could it be a row at blockbuster? Granger is there to possibly test the Watford wall as well. It's Rowett! Good save! Well, Chamberlain hasn't had a lot to do this second half, has he? Had to be down smartly to his right-hand side. Well worked free kick. Rowett with the right foot through the wall. And that's a good stop. Just inside his post, Alec Chamberlain sees it late, touches it round for a corner. Watford may have a one-man advantage. They appear to be panicking at the moment, though, as the corner is drifted in and cleared by Palmer. Granger knocks it back in, and it's Peter Andlove! Oh. And again, Birmingham denied by Chamberlain. Well, this, this is incredible. This is incredible. Knocked back in, Unlove from deep. Surely he must score. Gets a second chance at it. And Chamberlain, superb for Watford. This is a massive miss for me. That could be the difference of Wembley or not. But good goalkeeping and Trevor can't believe it. Header away by Granger. This is Alan Hazan. And Purse let it go! Oh, Mooney again. What a chance this is. This is a quality ball, Rob, from the Israeli Hazan. Brilliant ball. Mooney, he just chucks his left foot at it. Oh, that goes in, it's all over. But could they yet win it in normal time? Hughes with the corner. Rao was trying to get there, but the route was blocked. This is Holland. Purse. And Michael Johnson's got in there! And Chamberlain turns it away! What a save. This is his best save of the night. Johnson steals in, great leap, downward header. Look at this for reaction. Brilliant Alec Chamberlain. And that has kept him in it. Last gas. 
almost seconds ticking by, what a header, and a great right hand, strong right hand, and Trevor can't believe it again, who'd be a manager? Rowett. Suddenly opened up for Gary Rowett, he's looking for Furlong! I'll tell you what Rob, there's one thing for sure, the Birmingham City fans, no matter what happens tonight, on the way home, they're going to know the name Alec Chamberlain, because he has thwarted them on so many occasions. Through. Well, Bradbury sent him, hey. Well, it is penalties. And Trevor Francis and Graham Taylor have got more agonies to endure, but it's a great credit to Birmingham's resilience that they've got this far. Reduced to 10 men in the second half by the sending off of David Holdsworth. Well, Watford starting strongly with Peter Kennedy, who has scored a couple of penalties for them. In matches already this season, two of his seven goals from the spot. And it's in just. He saved it! Oh, the look says it all, doesn't it? It's a slow, casual run-up. Just tries to side-foot it. And Chamberlain, brilliant. He's been brilliant all night, guesses the right way. And unlike Poole, his arm, his hand is strong enough. Steve Palmer. Oh, it's White! Well, Palmer's played like a hero. He just goes for power here. Steve Palmer goes to blast the back of the ball. And unbelievably, St Andrews erupts. Drags it wide of Poole's right-hand post. Oh, heartbreaking for Steve Palmer. Can get themselves back on a level footing here, Martin Granger. One of his four goals this season was a penalty, and he gets this one in. A moment for the Watford midfielder to keep his cool. And it's in off the underside of the bar. Chamberlain having made one save in the shootout already. No stopping that one. A little punch in the air from Gary Rowett. Darren Baisley to try and put Watford's noses in front. Scores. So what? A little smile. It's a big, big moment this for Lee Bradbury. And he scores. So what? He deserves credit this boy. But by that tension etched on his face. But he scores. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That was a pressure kick, no doubt. Drives it right in the middle. If Poole stays there, he's got a chance. <laughs> and Trevor Francis knows it, but has entrusted Hughes with this vital, vital kick. Oh, and he keeps his call magnificently. Fantastic. It's Robert Page. And it's in. I'll tell you what, I think this has just took a little bit of paint off the underside of the bat as well. Oh, just for a minute it was rising. That probably just clips the underside of the bar, right-footed. Oh! And a massive burden weighing on his shoulders now. Oh, this is getting unbearable. Forward comes Alan Smart to take the next kick. He endured the agonies of being substituted at Wembley through injury for Carlisle in the auto windscreen shield final. He could take Watford a step closer if he scores, and he does. Can Paul keep Birmingham in the hunt? Yes, he can! Oh, what a strike this is! Oh. It's Alan Hazan. And he scores! Young Chris Holland, who's stepping forward to take the kick, a player who played three times in the Premiership, signed by Kevin Keegan once for Newcastle, former England under-21 international. Disappointment falls on Holland, and it's Watford who are going to Wembley to play Bolton in the First Division playoff final. You feel for Chris Holland, you really do, the youngster. Oh, I can't believe it. It's not a good penalty, is it? The pressure's got to him, that's the problem. The pressure's got to him. But Chamberlain's been fantastic all throughout the night. He guesses the right way and he gets his body behind it. It's heartbreaking for Birmingham, 
for Trevor and all the fans here and for Chrissy Holland. Heartbreaking.